For the past few years, I've been traveling around Thailand exploring as many destinations as I can. In what was supposed to be a one-month trip to the land of smiles turned into a seemingly endless journey with no fixed end in sight. Escaping the hectic rush of London life, my travels here have allowed me to see things I never thought I would. From glistening temples in Bangkok to the crystal clear waters of Koh Phi Phi, this country offers nearly an infinite number of things to do. In this vlog, we're all the way down on Thailand's southern border on a tropical island called Koh Li Pei, where I've spent a few months settling into island life and making a ton of memories. This island, however, is also home to an indigenous people known as the Chao Lei, or people of the sea when translated to English. Today, we're going to take a walk around the local Chao Lei village and hopefully provide a glimpse into the life of these nomads of the sea. A story that offers an insightful, yet often overlooked part of traveling Thailand. Good afternoon, it's May 29th, 2021, and it is a very, very hot day here on Koh Li Pei. It has been raining for the past week and a half because we are now in the monsoon season, which runs between May and October. And today is the first day in a while that we've had clear skies. There isn't a cloud in sight. And I thought it would be a perfect time to go and explore the local Chao Le village they have here on Koh Li Pei. So throughout the last four months, I've had the opportunity to meet some amazing people from all over the world. I've tried foods that I've never tried before, but one thing I haven't done is come and explore the Chao Lei village properly. Because Koh Li Pei isn't just about the bars, it isn't just about happy hour and the free shots. It's also about immersing yourself into the local culture, taking yourself out of your comfort zone and venturing down new paths. So, shall we go and have an exploration of the village? Let's do it. The Chao Lei, which means people of the sea when translated to English, consists of various indigenous seafaring communities that have been sailing throughout the Andaman Sea for hundreds of years. Living throughout the tropical islands of Thailand's west coast, an estimated 10,000 Chao Lei people are said to reside on the islands of Koh Phi Phi, Phuket, Koh Adang, Koh Lanta, and of course, here on Koh Li Pei. The Chao Lei, who are also known as the Urak Lawoi, reside in a small village here on the island, away from the more touristy parts. With Koh Li Pei being just one of the many places they call home, the Urak Lawoi can trace their ancestry back to early Austronesian explorers who migrated from Southeast Asia thousands of years ago. With a livelihood relying on fishing, boat building and gathering resources from the open water, the Chao Lei are a people whose lives are, as the name implies, deeply connected to the sea. Hello beauty.
Chao Lei speak a dialect belonging to the Malay Austronesian language family, which includes Malaysian and other languages spoken across Southeast Asia and the Pacific. The dialect has evolved over time through the interaction of the Chao Lei community with neighbouring Malay and Thai influences. Interestingly, their language is primarily oral, passed down the generations through spoken communication rather than a standard written form. As such, the language is learned through storytelling, songs and day-to-day -day conversation within the community. With 28 million people visiting Thailand in 2023, increased tourism to the country's popular islands like Koh Phi Phi, Koh Lanta and Lipe has had both positive and negative impacts on the Chao Lei. Tourism has provided the Chao Lei with economic opportunities through employment in the hospitality industry as tour guides and skippers, allowing them to earn a living and support their local community. Despite possessing a strong work ethic with invaluable knowledge of the open water, the Chao Lei have steadily steered away from their nomadic lifestyle since the late 19th century. The risk of the Chao Lei's cultural knowledge being lost to time intensifies due to various factors, with increased land development, infrastructure and outside cultural influences all continuing to affect their way of life. Hotels, businesses and private investors have long targeted the Urak Lavois land in a rush to exploit and profit off of the tropical island's lush beachfront real estate. The Chao Lei face a heightened vulnerability to human rights violations owing to their lack of recognition within the government's constitution. Their marginalised status leaves them disproportionately exposed to potential breaches of their fundamental rights. This continues to displace the Chao Lei from their ancestral land and hinders vital access to their fishing areas. Tourist resorts even restricted Chao Lei walkways to the local school, hospital and beach back in December 2022. This led to the Chao Lei being labelled as trespassers and illegal occupants when over a dozen of them were prosecuted for protesting against the blocking of the walkway. The National Human Rights Commission in Thailand is urging the government to address the land dispute issues faced by the Chao Lei and have put forth recommendations that include verifying land documents and designating cultural protection areas. Members of Koh Lipe's indigenous community stood before the UN in Bangkok in January 2022 to voice the following demands. To investigate how the Thai government is actually implementing its international human rights, climate and sustainable development agreements and treaties, and to recommend best practices for indigenous peoples. To create better understanding with the Thai government on policies or laws that protect and promote the livelihoods of indigenous peoples. And to continuously protect and follow up on the Thai government's solution and policy on the Kolipe case to promote and protect the Chao Lei indigenous group according to international obligations. Later that month, a group of activists from southern Thailand submitted a request that puts pressure on the government to issue community title deeds to the Chao Lei as a way of preventing businesses from owning their land. The Thai government has promised to investigate, with Anucha Nakasai, the PM's office minister in Thailand, stating, The government will ensure swift action and justice. We want to assure people on Koh Lipe that the government will not favour any groups and will act in line with the law. If you want to show your support for Koh Lipe's Chao Lei communities, join the Manusha-led Save Koh Lipe Villagers campaign and click the link in the description below to sign the change petition to help protect their lands and livelihoods. Or scan this barcode which will take you directly to the petition page. With me being a tourist traveling to Thailand, I do feel a slight disconnect between me and the local people here. It is a privilege for me to be able to walk throughout this beautiful village and immerse myself in the cultures of the Chao Lei people. Of course, language is going to be a barrier and because of that, there are so many conversations that can't be said. But I do hope that the Chao Lei people won't mind me walking through their home and just, you know, showing everybody what life can be like on an average day. 
We do have a few friends on the island who are Chao Lei, and I am due to go and speak to them and have some conversations and find out a lot more about what life is like as a Chao Lei on the island. It's unfortunate not being able to communicate properly with the local people as there are so many stories, so much experiences, so many tales to be told here. I am a Farang, this is not my home. I am a guest here and so far I feel like a guest. I feel very comfortable, I feel good. This is a really nice day so far. I just hope that they don't mind me walking through their homes. The Yurak Luoi share cultural and linguistic similarities with other indigenous people residing in and around the Andaman Sea, known as the Mokan and Moklun tribes. While also referred to as Chaole, the Mokan and Moklun communities have a rich cultural heritage distinct from the Yurak Luoi, despite sharing mutual seafaring practices. The Mokan tribes primarily reside in Thailand's Phrang Na province, while the Mokan people mostly inhabit the Surin Islands in the Mergi Archipelago, located in southern Myanmar. The Yurak Luoi make up the largest of the three. From the Adang Archipelago to the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra, these locations have been the traditional territories of the Chao Lei for generations. A story that begins back in the early 20th century. Long ago, an explorer named Tu Kiri of Indonesian origin is said to be responsible for bringing the Yurak Loawi people here to Kolipe. Tu Kiri and his family followed the horizon of the Andaman Sea in search of a new place they could call home. According to local legend, Tu Kiri left the shores of Indonesia's Aceh region in the early 1900s, eventually making his first stop in Gunung Jurai, a mountain range in modern-day Kedah, Malaysia. Here, Tu Kiri married his first wife, a Malay woman, whom he had a daughter with called Tay. Still searching for a place to settle that was abundant in natural resources, Tu Kiri and his new family left Mount Jurai and set sail again, while his brothers stayed behind to start new lives. It wasn't long before they discovered the islands of Langkawi, Koh Bulon and Koh Lidi, which straddle the border between Thailand and Malaysia. In Koh Bulon, Tu Kiri's wife passed away. Tukiri's nomadic nature prevailed, however, when he decided to leave Kobulon and continue northward with his daughter and a few friends, eventually leading him to the islands of Koh Lantayai in Thailand's Krabi province. It was in Koh Lanta where Tukiri and his new family decided to settle. His friends each married and began their new lives, cultivating a livelihood from the pristine tropical island and surrounding water. On Lantayai, Tu Kiri married his second wife, a Yurak Lavoy woman named Mia, with whom he had two children, a son and a daughter named Sabu and Dara Hantale. Today, most of the descendants of the Chaole in the Adang archipelago still hold the family name Hantale, which means Brave Sea. This name was apparently given to them in the early 1960s along with Thai citizenship and land titles when they came under the patronage of the king's mother, Sirikit Kitiyakara. While many today consider Koh Lanta to be the original home of the Chao Lei, it wasn't destined to be Tu Kiri and the Yurik Luoi's final stop on their long voyage through the Andaman. Aware of the resource-rich islands in the Adang archipelago, in around 1909, Tu Kiri, along with other Yurek Luoi, were presented with an opportunity to relocate to the area after being convinced by the then chief of Satun, Praya Pumnad Pakdi, with whom Tu Kiri was apparently close friends with. The chief of Satun needed the Yurak Luoi to prove to the British, who governed the region at the time, that the Adang archipelago belonged to Thailand. This eventually led to the signing of the Anglo-Siamese Treaty of 1909, wherein Thai settlers likely helped define the border between British Malaysia and Thailand. Soon after reaching the shores of Koh Lipe, Tu Kiri managed to convince many Yurak Luoi from Koh Lanta and other nearby islands to migrate to the Adang Archipelago. Fast forward to today, and Tu Kiri holds a respected position as an ancestor figure in Lipe's Yurak Luoi community. They hold deep respect for this origin story, which often reflects in their spiritual beliefs and practices. Hello, beauty. Come here, beauty. So this path is my running path, and for the first three months of being on Lipe, this was the route that I would take when I run. 
and I had no idea whatsoever that this road led right into the Chowle village. I'm pretty ashamed to say it did take me a bit too long to come and explore this place, but better late than never, right? No Chowle people are said to have died in the Boxing Day tsunami of 2004, which devastated Thailand's west coast. This probably due to the invaluable knowledge of the sea passed down through the generations. As we know, the Chowle have long lived a semi-nomadic lifestyle in the region and hold deep knowledge of the sea and its behaviour. Because of this, they, along with the Mokin and Moklin tribes, demonstrated a remarkable ability to anticipate and escape the tsunami's impact. Intuitive and recognising the receding waters and what it meant, the Chow Le and their knowledge on the natural world ultimately saved their lives. A part of me does feel kind of funny walking through this village with my selfie stick, with my phone and kind of just expecting the Chow Le to be present or to be accommodating for my vlog. I'm sure the Chow Le are very used to visitors, obviously not now during a pandemic as the island is super quiet, but I still want to make sure that I'm being respectful. The Chow Le people speak not just Thai, but they also speak their own native language too. So I don't know hardly any Thai um, apart from the few words and I don't know any Chow Le. So the language barrier is an issue, but I hope it doesn't stop me from being able to connect in some way. Finally today is a perfect day, it's super sunny, it's super hot and I can't think of a better time to explore. So before it was called Kolipe, it's called Palau Nipe. Palau Nipe. Palau Nipe. Now uh, National Park Chen, uh, more more good name Kolipe. Ko Pulau, name the uh, island. Mean island yes. in uh, Chao Le. Chao Le Pulau. Ah, Pulau mean island, and Nipe means small, small, yeah. little, like little, like little. Like little for Ben, like this. Oh, flat. Ah, uh, flat. Ah, you come from Ko uh, Ah you see. Like yeah, uh, that's right. Oh yeah, like a uh, this curved yeah, shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah shaped like a boomerang almost. Uh, so, Pulau Nipi, many magic take care here. Yeah. Many magic. So many come here, yeah, no problem. It's protected. Yeah, they have something for my customer. Maloko yeah, no people die. That's right. That's right. No chow lay die. No chow lay die. Customer come here, no die. Many customers come. And that's because um, Chow Le, they know about the, the uh, sea. The sea, but with low, very quick, high, very quick. Chai. Yes. Me stay on the beach, me say that feet cannot <laughs> That's right, they are out of the water. Let me go look TV, check the TV. Oh, tsunami. How old was you when tsunami? Yeah, before me. 17. So like a teenager. 10 years already now. 10 years already, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, the tsunami now come... Now we 29. 29 now. 30 soon. 30, okay, so like, yeah, 15 years it, ago. It, it, December, number 10, party. Decem December 10, your birthday. Okay, party. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Christmas as well. We yeah. can celebrate your birthday uh, and then a and then Christmas after that. Can I ask you one question, Ron? Um, how has... Kolipe changed from when you was a little boy to now. Oh, bungalow. Bungalow. Any bungalow. Me a little boy, me remember one bungalow under my resort. Under my. Uh huh. Under my. At the second bungalow, uh, Chowle Resort, but yeah. Chowle Resort. Now Chowle Resort no help. Big big area na. Ah uh, yeah. Resort. After him say Dong Thale. Dong Thale. Yeah. Before before. Uh, that type of people come. Um, Chowle don't know before don't know. But money. Money, little uh, bit keep okay. Chowle. Yeah, yeah. Now, too late for. Change. Too late. Good yeah. idea, Thailand. Chowle don't know. Now my friend, I good already. You know. Yeah, 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 now you know. That's why, because if 
there's land here on Polipe. It's good to stay. Like, before, do not sell. Before, before, before. Before, before. Yeah. What time after you? Time after you. Come My land, land is so big, 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 big land. Uh. Near your bar. Yeah. yeah. Come, I delete. Up to Katali. My land family, me. Uh. From I delete? From Katali. Yeah, That's big, big. big land. Uh. People come in, in food, money, uh, gun. Money and gun. If you no keep, <gasps> I want to take free. So you're telling me that Please. they came and then they said they gave you the option of either gun uh, or money. Money. Yeah. Keep maybe two million. Two million baht. Big island. But yeah. now I I in cut sell for Katalibe. I don't know. So much more. Twenty thousand. Uh, Twenty million, million baht. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, crazy. We don't want, my family don't want to sell now. Yeah, Even yeah. They want to look. They force you to sell with the gun. So now, I mean, already came for people. Yeah. Pull it, big pull it. Uh, but now too late. Now too late. Already. already. Who knows, maybe Chow Lei soon take it back. Call pay. <laughs> maybe Sanami come again for Creed. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, after Chow Lei village again. Yes. Yeah. After yeah. Chalai can find Bangalore, mm -hmm. I want this room. Nice. Before. before the Thai people came, what did the Chalai houses look yes, like? Yes, Chalai before, it's a day, this area. Now, it's yeah, out there, out there, out there. Ah, I see. And was you I born here on Kolipe? Born on Kolipe, same as um, Kian? Before me born, next I uh, school. Behind the school? This, this, uh, ah, yeah, the, yeah. This school? This area only Chowley stay. That's right. Now many many companies come to buy the island after Chowley stay. Thing. Yeah. The Chowley village. Chowley, Chowley. Before no no, Chowley they want to stay on the beach. Look the boat. Yeah. If raining, they take care of the boat. Easy. To be close to the sea. Now no easy. If raining, him sleep too much under the whole boat. Yeah. Boat. <laughs> the tide. Oh my God. It's crazy because there's Andaman now, you've got like Zodiac, and then you've got all of that, the resort. Now, now Charlie, better to take back side him now, have solar sail, have palm, nothing, no, nothing too much. Okay. Before, no help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No help, uh, solar sail, palm, no. Mm -hmm. If raining a lot, need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, In the now, old school. Okay, sometimes both help. Oh. Okay. Well, well, for me, don't lie, me like. Exercise. Do the exercise, <laughs> do the manual work. Okay. You know the long okay. Do, you, do you make yourself? Uh, them before can can do the yeah, but now they do they, here sometimes. Oh, like, oh yeah, they build the, 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 the national park. No keep for cut. Uh, you need to oh, buy yes. uh, buy land. Mainland. Lanta or I think Kami, a, ah, uh, Rawai, you're not allowed uh, to cut the trees. Not even the Chow Lei can. No can. But this is your land. Before can no have no national have park I, can. Yeah. Some of the resorts, they have kind of like a deal with the chow lei and they look after them and let them go through the resort, let them enjoy the beach. Gypsy, like the chow lei, uh, Daya Resort, Chow Lei ah. uh, Coco Resort, Chow Lei, ah. Sanom, Chow Lei, Sitsio. Okay, okay. So the resort makes sure to hire chow lei people. But Maybe. chow lei lady, Sometimes he don't, don't like working. Oh, Charlie lady. Uh, little bit for like working. Ah. Sometimes he only take care of the house. Of the man, take care of baby, man. Yeah. Come Traditional. to green pitching. Traditional, yeah. yeah. But have many, many ladies sometimes want to work in the resort. Okay, so the women, they want now. Uh, resort want to take Charlie, but Charlie lady don't like. Ah, yeah. She likes to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, she's like mother. She look after the whole family, yeah, all the babies, okay. And the men they go fishing, they work. Okay, because the more money for the chow lei is because they can buy more land. I think chow lei cannot, but chow lei have money, chow lei party every day. Yeah, yeah, party. It's a buy, survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good though, you know, you keep the, the fun in, in your heart instead of like money, think about job, city, you just enjoy every day.
We enjoy every day. Yeah. 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 Maybe one day yeah. have to come to some for the no picnic. Yes, more pure than the, the one that you know that you know that you I give for maybe chairs, 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 always. We have money. Not good water, but like you can process, process, yeah. process. Yeah. We have every day. We cooking every day, same, same. Yeah. Today I I want a bit go to run bar. Want to go outside, go to the park. Want some more. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a different place for everything. <laughs> yeah. So if you go, no, it's fine. Kiang. Yeah. We didn't move together. But sometimes we don't know okay. him. No, he sometimes we don't know him. <coughs> him may <coughs> more know than me, but him 40, <coughs> Mr. Lee. No, no, no. Uh, you're like his younger brother. Young. Me say that the bit broke now. Water, I admit, now far away. Now? There are many trees. Same, same, uh, other. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the tree. The same, same before. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been deforested. They cut, sometimes a big whip, mix. They cut it down. Do you want to go packing? Sorry, I've been taking up all of Ron's time. I wanted to ask you many questions because I never asked before. Welcome to Kokra. Beautiful little island. Oh, this is postcard perfect. Final destination. This is postcard perfect. Final destination. So, we spent the last three hours walking throughout the Chao Lei village. I hope I've given you an insight or a small perspective into a, the lives of the Chao Lei people here. Of course, I'm not the best person to ask when it comes. Swadikab! Of course, this won't be the most in-depth vlog of the Chao Lei, as there are people that probably speak the local dialect who are able to find out a lot more than what I can. Chao Lei people are super lovely, super kind. I don't think they feel any way about you exploring their village or their town. Just make sure to be respectful, of course, not to be too loud, and yeah, just enjoy yourself. Today has been super fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it with me, and who knows, maybe we'll come have another walk down the village soon. Until the next vlog, We'll see you soon.